Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I'm still a targeted individual. Um. Oh. I'm standing in the supermarket. No, first I'm standing in the in the deli. I'm standing in the deli, the Mr. Kim's deli, the place of has the fruits and vegetables and coffee and and I turn around and they have cut flowers for sale and these little pink and purple flowers with the most beautiful little they were just so beautiful and and you know I realized that, that God made these flowers and these are like the most beautiful things that I've seen in a long time. And uh, you know, I start crying thinking about this. And I'm standing there in the deli, you know, everybody's freaking looking at me and going by. <clears throat> you know, and I'm fucking bawling my eyes out, pretending everything's okay and, <laughs> and making my coffee and crying about the flowers that God made. And so then I go into the, into the supermarket. I go into the supermarket to get some, you know, yogurt and uh, cream cheese and your bagels. And uh, I'm standing there in the line and there's these two home health care attendants and they're talking with this woman who has no teeth and she's in one of these little zip around wheelchair jammies. Uh, not the kind that you give people who, uh, excuse me, who just uses to go outside the house, the kind that you live in all the time, you know? And she's talking and they're joking back and forth. And then the woman says to the other woman, she saved my life. And uh, the other woman says, yeah, yeah, I had to give her CPR. She had a coronary arrest. Uh, I gave her CPR for five, seven minutes before the ambulance came. And mouth to mouth, I kept her alive. And, and the other woman says, you know, you have to praise God every day for every moment. And of course, what do I do? I start crying again. You know, now I'm in the supermarket at like supermarket rush hour, bawling my eyes out, you know, sniffling, dripping tears, trying not to. <clears throat> I feel like uh, <laughs> one of these guys in those old British movies that they made after the war, where all the poor guys are they're gimping around with their war wounds and you know polite conversation doesn't doesn't you know and they burst into tears and oh it's nothing don't worry with the stiff upper lip eh and all that shit ah. man I don't understand any of this I really don't. Um, this morning, Petra says she's coming into the house and the super's wife, who's like this tough little woman from like, you know, some South American mountain country, you know? And uh, she carries these, collects cans to get extra money for the family and shit. Uh, Anyway, this whole situation is so screwed up. The guy's giving us power off of their thing and, and we offered to pay them and, and they said no, they wouldn't take it. And, and so anyway, she's, we offered like three times to give him a hundred dollars. Take it, no. So, so now Petra helps her. She opened the door, carry some shit upstairs. She's carrying all these big heavy things. 
And this is, a, she's an older lady. She's like in her 50s or 60s. And she's taking care of two kids. You know, who knows who they are? Nobody who's not there. And anyway, Petra, you know, and she says, thank you. And under her breath, she says, junkie. And Petra's hurt. She's hurt by this. I mean, what the fuck? These people have no clue, man. And so I'm thinking to myself, you know, maybe I just got to write them a little note in Spanish that says something like, you know, uh, I don't know, I thought of it before, something about, you know, just be, I, I'm glad that, you know, that God has not shown you uh, the, uh, the pain and difficulty, hardship, poverty and discrimination, judgment and abuse that uh, other people have shown us. And to be grateful that you're not in the same position we are. That's all. You know, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. And there's still that little part of me that comes out, it's like, ah, I want that bad person who hurt me to suffer the same thing they... Yeah, but fuck that. No. 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 It's not up to me. I don't get to choose. You know, and that's the thing that really confuses me, man, because... These evil people, they do whatever the fuck they want. And you would think an appropriate response to that would be to vanquish evil, you know? Like, but uh, then you become it. You become the thing that you're... You know, I don't know. I don't know. We can look at it that, that God has reached his hand down and, and held us in it you know, through fire and through torment and through all this crap. But, uh, it still hurt. And my biggest question is, you know, when, when do I get over this? When do I get over this, this victim crap, you know? Like, I, I'm going back through my life now and I'm looking at everything. You know, I'm looking at my first years, as far back as I can remember, everything I can pull up. And you know what? These people have been playing with me my entire life, since I was born. It's, it's insane. It's a whole nother story I'll tell you soon. Anyway, just wanted to share that with anybody who cares. Thanks for watching. I hope your life is better than mine. God bless you.